This animation, using data from satellites called Gochi, reveals what happens next. When combined with other measurements, it shows how the outflow from Antarctica drives water back towards the equator. A steady flow of deep, cold, salty liquid migrates northwards. As these slow-moving currents travel silently across the globe, they stir and cool all the world's oceans. This ancient system regulates the average temperature of the water to within half a degree. Such stability has enabled life to prosper, protecting it from wild swings in the planet's climate. When finally the deep water returns to the surface, it begins a more dynamic existence as it joins warmer, faster currents. Seen from up here, the entire ocean is revealed as a single, never-ending swirling mass. These surface currents vary in temperature depending on the energy they receive from the sun. This in turn determines the amount of vapor that is released into the air. It's these variations that drive seasonal changes on land as well as ocean. As the Gulf Stream cools in the fall, it causes New England maple trees to turn red and shed their leaves. Six months later and half the world away, another current called the Kuroshio starts to warm, and cherry trees burst into blossom all over Japan. Similar processes are happening all across the world, governing the seasonal cycles of almost all life on the Earth. Seen from space, the ocean and the atmosphere are intrinsically linked. A continuous system joined together by water, 12 trillion tons of which is floating around in the air at any one time. Every single storm, every single raindrop, is one part of this vast engine that powers so much of the activity that defines our world. But there's still more to this planetary mechanism than there seems. The cold Antarctic brine will soon undergo another transformation as it interacts with one of the Earth's most violent systems. And where fire and water meet, something magical happens a process that underpins almost all life on the Earth. To the west of Peru, a massive feeding frenzy erupts. Millions of anchovies and sardines feast on plankton. Millions more predatory fish and seabirds migrate here to feed on the shoals. It 
It is one of the densest volumes of marine life known. Which is why humans are here too. But this is more than a rich hunting ground. It is also one of the best examples of how two of the Earth's systems interact to support life. <laughs> 